There are new pictures tonight of the men the FBI says are behind brazen bank robberies happening since last July. And the feds feel it's now just days before they strike once again. Fox 4 Sean Rabb in studio tonight with more. Sean. Yeah, the most bank robberies are what's called note jobs. One person passing a note to a teller for money. But these boys are setting it off for real with scary robberies. Organized, each with an assignment to get in and get out quickly with the cash. The FBI hopes you can help them take these takeover bandits out. Sky 4 overhead April 30th, minutes after Allen's Bank of Texas robbed by takeover bandits terrorizing tellers. When you're using uh, weapons or brandishing weapons, uh, you know, demanding, you know, verbal demands for cash, uh, yes, they're takeover robberies. As these pictures show, guns out, voices up, over the counter, in and out between 30 and 90 seconds. They usually exit the banks and there's a, usually a getaway vehicle driven by an additional uh, crew member. A getaway vehicle that's stolen and quickly dumped. In the Allen case, the escape car found in a nearby neighborhood. This map shows the location and date of bank robberies credited to these crooks since last year. Eight banks, eight cities across three counties, roughly every 45 days. The individuals have been identified as black males, um, late 20s to early 30s, from 5'7 to 6 foot in height. They wear a lot of clothing to, to mask their identities. The current crew of gangsters, an eerie reminder for law enforcement of the notorious scarecrow bandits, hung with that name because of flannel shirts and floppy hats worn when they rushed banks. Prosecutors say the group robbed 21 banks in 2008 before being caught. Five were sent to prison for life, two received lesser sentences. There are some similarities, you know, uh, again, there are occasions when there are groups or crews of individuals that like to uh, commit criminal acts together. And go down together, like in 2004, when another team of takeover bandits had a rolling gun battle with Richardson and Plano police. That's our biggest concern, is that they will continue to, to do bank robberies until they actually are stopped, uh, apprehended. The feds know somebody knows the men behind the masks and are hoping for the right tip to unmask them. But a lot of times the tips that come from is family members, ex-girlfriends, uh, provide us that one key critical identification of one individual. Now, if you can help with identifying just one, the FBI says it can identify the rest. Could be big money reward for the right tip. Just call the Dallas FBI office. Agents waiting now to take your call. And confident, tip or not, sooner or later, these takeover bandits, they say, will be taken down.